Let me show you three ways that you can stay connected with your clients above and beyond email. Inside of this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how you can connect three powerful ways to stay connected with clients inside a Travel Pro Suite. The first option is by installing a chat widget either on your site hosted internal to the system or inside of an externally hosted system. So let's get started. First thing that you're going to do inside of the Travel Pro Suite is you're going to go to Sites and then in the top hand menu, you're going to click on Chat Widget and we're going to create a new chat widget. You have three options to create widget mess or text message later. For most travel advisors, I foresee this being the most used option. The other option is our live chat feature, which allows you to have an interactive conversation with clients. You also have the option of integrating content AI with this live chat option, whereby you actually train an AI on how to respond to your clients based on information that's on your site or other information that you train the AI to do. You also have the third option of integrating WhatsApp which will take your existing WhatsApp business account and allow you to have chat conversations in WhatsApp inside of the system. All three are powerful ways to have an ongoing conversation with your client and all of that information live within the system and with your contact record. Let's go ahead and set up an SMS email chat. You'll just select that one select and then you'll get the options to actually configure the chat widget to the way that you want. You can name the chat widget what you want at the top and then you can enable the button this chat bubble button here and this is going to greet your visitors when they are on your site it's going to be similar to the bubble that you see here. You can have an intro message on and define that message however you want. You can edit the image and then add your own image here. We're just going to select this image here. And then you can, when somebody returns their return visitor to your site, you can also have a custom widget, a custom message here. Then you can define here the kind of chat type you're going to have, either SMS or email chat. But this is where somebody, you will respond to somebody later, or you can have a live chat option. The widget window, you can configure that widget window here. So you can see what it looks like. You can have a question at the top here, an intro message. You can enable the email field. You can decide what the button is going to say message now. You can have a legal disclaimer. If you're doing going to be collecting phone number, you want to have a legal disclaimer for the phone number. And then you can have the consent box and then um, you can change the widget, the uh, color of the button. And then you can have an acknowledgement statement here. So this is all great. You can then click save in the bottom right hand corner. And then the great thing is, is like if you have your public facing website, you can also install this widget on your website by getting the code that's either on the bottom or at the top. You just click the code, copy that code, and you're going to put that either in the header or footer of your website and the widget will be live. So that's number one is that you can install a widget on your hosted site that is hosted by us or any external site that you have. Then the second communication channel that you want to make sure that you turn on is if you want to do marketing through text messaging or you want to send text messages, you have the ability of doing so inside of our system. If you go to settings, you'll get the settings menu on the left hand side, click on phone numbers. And then what this is going to do is allow you, if you don't already have a phone number, you can create or request for a new number. Simply to request for a new number, you'll click on the add button, add a phone number, and then you'll search for the phone number, number that you want. You can search by area code, or you can just see what available numbers are here. Once you, let's just filter by number, we're going to search by number do 469 and we're going to do the first part of the number 
and then it's going to run a search to see if the what numbers are available in the area code that you've selected. It may take a few seconds for the search results to come back. That's okay. Once it uh, does, just let it run. And then once it does, then you'll be able to select the phone number that you want. So now we've got our search results here. We'll select the phone number that we want, and then you'll hit the little radio button. And then you'll click this button on the bottom right hand that says proceed to buy. There is a cost associated with the number to purchase. I believe this is 288. I think we've got the um, 288 for the phone numbers or 115, whatever it says here is going to be what the price is going to be. You'll proceed to buy. I'm not going to proceed to buy because we already have a phone number here. And then once you're done, you're going to get this option at the top of the screen that tells you that you need to register for A2P 10 DLC. That is a registration that you need to complete in order to use text messaging. That's an FCC guideline that really has nothing to do with us, but in order to actually send the text messages, you need to do that. You can go ahead and click on start now to start the process. You can follow the prompts. We also have training inside of Travel Pro um, Learning Portal that will teach you how to actually submit this application and get approved. If for some reason you have some problems, you can also click on the right hand bottom button, our help chat box and let them know that you have some problems and need some help with the registration and they'll walk you through how to get effectively registered. Then the third option that we want you to turn on inside of the system is the social media messenger option, but the way to do that is to actually integrate with the social media platforms. If you select marketing and then when you click on marketing, if you haven't already done so on the social scheduler option, this is where you will integrate with Facebook, Instagram, Google, my business, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, and then also Pinterest. By virtue of you connecting all of these social media platforms, it also integrates with the messenger part of these platforms so that when your clients connect with you, they will be able to connect to those. Another place that you can also do this is if you go to settings and you go to integrations here, you'll see that you've got all these integration mechanisms as well. So you can do your Google My Business, you can integrate with, looks like Google My Business chat is going away and I think that's a Google standard, which is unfortunate because it was kind of a pretty cool feature, but you can still integrate with your Google My Business account. You can integrate with Facebook and Instagram, like I mentioned. You can also integrate with TikTok and the other social media platforms. And that's where messengers, the messengers live are on those platforms. Now, when somebody actually has a conversation with you, the beauty of having our system is, is that all of those conversations are going to be centralized here on tab. And then you can also access it through the context tab. So let's just go to here where I'm having an active conversation with someone and you can see that SMS and email is available. Now, if they, this person right here sent me an Instagram message and you can see that that message right here is available. So anytime someone is having a conversation with you, all you have to do is go to the conversation tab and you'll see it all available. You can then start a conversation with them through SMS or email. If they've come through your chat widget, that will also show up in the conversations. In contacts, you can then see any historical conversation that you've had with a person. You can see them by clicking on their name. <clears throat> and then in the center of the screen, any of the history of conversations that you've had, any text messaging, any emails, any time that you have sent an email, all of that's going to live right here. And you can see that right in the center of the screen and all of that history. Listen, communication is probably the most important thing we do as travel advisors. Make it easy for your clients to connect with you by any means necessary. So make sure that these communication methods are turned on in your travel business. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get more information about how Travel Pro Suite can be useful to you. Talk to you soon.
Let me show you three ways that you can